This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 9th of January. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather warmer today. Look out for rain as the weekend begins. Let's look out the window. Some Skycam shots. These were captured about 2.30 uh, this afternoon. That is coming from Birmingham. Looking southeast from the Daniel Building. A mix of sun and clouds. And hey, we're in the 50s. How about that? There's the Coleman Sky Cam that's looking east from the water treatment facility just east of downtown Coleman. Again, a mixture of clouds and sunshine there. And up in Russellville in Franklin County, the sky mostly cloudy. A few sprinkles just north of there, but most of Alabama dry today. You can see a little short wave coming out across the southern plains, helping to squeeze out this light rain. That was a radar at 237. Uh, rain falling. Uh, from the Mississippi Delta up into the extreme northwestern corner of Alabama, up into uh, southern Tennessee. But again, for most of us around here, we're dry. We'll stay dry tomorrow. The big rain comes tomorrow night and Saturday morning. And yes, I see 50s on the board. Birmingham at 55, Tuscaloosa 58. That's fantastic. Of course, not everybody quite that warm. In fact, uh, we got some 40s still. Uh, uh, Fort Payne, Gadsden, Montgomery, Auburn, where they've had thicker clouds today. Around the nation, the moderating trend continues. It's cold up north, but just not as cold as recent days. And around here, we'll probably see highs uh, maybe around 60 by the time the weekend gets here. Up on the watch warning map, the counties in purple uh, over the eastern U.S., those are freezing rain advisories for a pretty good chunk of Virginia, up toward Washington, D.C., Baltimore, Philadelphia, and a few scattered winter weather issues out in the uh, western mountains. And hey, look at this, the day three convective outlook. After being down in the single digit, you don't think about this, but there's a, a slight risk of severe weather on the South Atlantic coast Saturday from near Jacksonville, Florida, up to almost the Tidewater region. And uh, uh, no severe weather here, but th there could be some strong storms over there east of here Saturday afternoon. Here's the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Tuesday evening. Rain amounts of one to two inches here. Going to be a good soaking to start the weekend, but the weekend not all wet, as you'll see. We'll check the GFS, the 12Z run, valid at 12 noon tomorrow. This is at 500 millibars. And you can see the uh, trough over the nation's midsection. That's going to bring us that uh, wet start to the weekend. Down below that, the rain begins during the day tomorrow west of here. Places like Fort Smith, Arkansas, uh, Dallas-Fort Worth. Uh, the day will be mostly cloudy. Pretty good breeze out of the south. The high should be in the mid to upper 50s. This is tomorrow night uh, at uh, midnight off the GFS. And it's got the batch of showers and thunderstorms moving in here. Saturday morning at 6 o'clock, looking very wet. And then Sunday at noon, the rain is out of here. Uh, now, let's look at the high-res NAM just for a comparison. This is uh, 9 o'clock tomorrow night. Hey, it's faster. The uh, high-res NAM wants to bring the rain in here maybe as early as 6, 7 o'clock tomorrow night. And, uh, you know, it's had a pretty good track record lately, so I think we'll kind of ease that into the forecast and not mention after midnight, just open up the window maybe at 6 o'clock tomorrow evening. And if that's the case, that'll be a good soaking there. And then this is Saturday morning at 9, and the rain is ending along I-65. Uh, so it's maybe uh, 6 p.m. to 9 a.m. 6 p.m. tomorrow, 9 a.m. Saturday is the main window for rain off the high-res NAM, and we'll probably make that adjustment in the forecast. Uh, but it's not going to rain all day Saturday. You can see the rain ending there uh, mid to late morning. Uh, Saturday afternoon, I don't know if the clouds break up. It'll probably stay cloudy throughout the day. And then this is Sunday. Hey, that looks pretty nice, by golly. A bright, sunny sky and the high perhaps around 60. That'll be fantastic. Here's Monday of next week. Another cold front coming through, and uh, this is suggesting maybe a sprinkle on that front. Uh, and we might have to make a little adjustment in the forecast to uh, mention that. And then this is Tuesday, a uh, trough uh, digging down through here and a new surge of colder air moving in. Uh, and if this is right on Tuesday, the high would drop into the low and mid-50s and uh, maybe even colder on Wednesday. Uh, this is Wednesday. We'll probably start the day uh, down around the freezing mark with a high around 50. But the, the coldest air is shunted east of here. But clearly a shot of colder air late Tuesday and Wednesday. Here's Thursday of next week. Notice the next front and Friday of next week. This is the uh, 17th. Another uh, big trough in the east. Another shot of colder air coming in here. So look, <coughs> looks like a colder shot around midweek next week and then maybe another one right at the end of the week. But nothing like the cold air we just dealt with. 
We'll go out there later in the month. This is January 24th, a little wet weather system coming in here. And there's the end of the forecast on the 25th. And uh, showing slightly cooler air coming in, but again, nothing too bad. And this is the Arctic Oscillation uh, off the GFS. And again, you can see the tendency is for that thing, the AO, to go positive. Um, out there toward January 20th and just maybe the latter 10 days of this month will be warmer as the flow of uh, Arctic air is shut down at least temporarily, if that's right. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.